would like to be sincere with you yeah. and to be really present yeah. because I was noticing that the last time I came first I could not remember what you told me mm. the first part mm. so I was not really present probably if I could not remember mm. I was probably thinking something else mm. so my attention was then, when you're saying uh, you have three minutes now, then I looked for someone and I gave the microphone to someone else who was more in an urgent question. Yes. So yes. I wanted to get rid of the hot potato in a sense. Yes. yes. <laughs> and, and so my ego was somewhat bruised, uh, but it was good. Mm -hmm. It was good because I, I realized a few things and, and that's why I'm here again mm. and I wrote a few things they may seem somewhat uh, uh, intellectual in the beginning they are written in a printed way mm -hmm. but they really deal with the issue I wanted to talk about okay dear Muji you told someone it was your attention that went somewhere not you as consciousness the perceiver yes you told someone else you are not unworthy. Your attitude is un unworthy. Yes, yes. I would like you to elaborate on these two issues, attention and attitude. They are two different issues, but they are somehow connected. For it is your attitude that defines your attention, both in its direction and its intensity. Hmm. How intense is one's search? How Persevering is one. Oh. Yeah. You mentioned the just curious and the desperate people. I personally do not feel to be in either category. Two, these issues are related, want it or not, with will. Is willpower personal? How is it related to consciousness? And finally, I feel everybody do their best. The will they exert is the will they have. Uh, would you say this is a lazy attitude? Mm. Okay. How intense is one's search? I don't... Well, first of all, you cannot create intensity of search, you see. It must be there somehow, because the universe is acting on each heart in its own way, in its own time. So we don't need to try and go out necessarily and work on people. But at the same time, it can be said the universe is also working through you, working on them as well too. So it's hard, you see. Uh, I don't want to keep you out. The thing is that you pay attention mostly to yourself, as a consciousness, and if you are moved in some way, you find yourself somehow speaking to someone about this, then it's un informed from consciousness. It's almost as though the consciousness is somehow in the midst of that, rather than your own private personal projection, you see. So how intense is one's search? How persevering is one? Because that is the, because that is the issue that brings me here now, and that's yeah. why I say I want to be sincere and present, mm -hmm. is that it seems... Uh, if you want, I can explain why it seems. It seems that my search is not really intense. Yes. But I'm not c just curious, but I'm yeah. not desperate. Yes, 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 yes. So... Yes, yes. So I feel, and that's why I spoke also last time about, I didn't say wasting time, but... Yes. but the but It's a good point you are making. It's... it's. Uh, mm. Well, I don't want to present categories like that. That you either are, have intensity or <coughs> or, laziness. or laziness. I don't want to use those terms. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Sometimes I will use it. No, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Sometimes you know you don't uh, you don't know what state you're in actually, or when you know you are when you are really. Um, what is likely to be the next thing? You could be lying here feeling lazy. The next moment, some something bursts open, and you, it's it's very different for you. 
it's, it can happen like that, no? So can one say... If you speak inside the, the microphone. So can one say that perhaps I am too tough with myself, yeah. telling myself, you are not being as intense as you should be, you are not being so serious and perseverant on your spiritual path yes, yes, as yes. you should be. And my response to that would be, who would you be? If I'm saying, you are not, you are not enough, you know, you're not enough focused on what's happening, then who am I speaking to? Who am I addressing? Then can I just Speak relax? Inside. Then can I just relax and say everything is okay, everything is perfect, don't worry? Can I go to the other extreme? If yes. you ask and me you, that... And you would be what? Doing that? I would be the perfect self, not worrying about these silly problems. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, if, if you would be the perfect self, not worrying about these silly problems, I'm on your side, then you go do that. <laughs> But can I keep be can I keep being that perfect self, or is just an intellectual self. posture? It's an intellectual posture. It is an intellectual. So posture. where to find this interstice, this little point of truth between all these things? Where is this truth, little, li which it's is an attitude? Yeah. <laughs> But it's a question of attitude, it's a question of attention, it's a question of willpower. Where? Where? Where, do, where does one find that inside, but more, more willpower, less... <sighs> okay, if I say to you, forget about willpower, forget about determination, forget about perseverance, forget about intensity, forget about laziness, uh, and the one also who would engage in them. Forget about that also. Hmm? Forget about uh, freedom, enlightenment, forget about everything. Hmm? Like, as from now, just leave, leave those aside. And any other thing that is bubbling around inside your mind, just leave aside everything. If I say that I would love to meet you, but I'm not interested in these additions, just to find that place in you which is not doing something or trying to become something. So it is already there and it is perfectly content as it is. Then who are you there? I can perceive or I, I can perceive or I can feel a sort of an intuition, a glimpse of whatever of what you are saying. Yeah. That there is indeed a, a real self who is not this one with these little problems, but someone. But it's just a, a little glimpse and bleep. what is watching the glimpse? Don't go with the glimpse. But what is it that you know that is aware of even glimpse? Is that a glimpse? No, but there is there is a, a tendency. That's why I started by talking about the tension, and the yeah. tension is probably of the person. I yeah, don't no, know. leave all of those. We said we threw them away. Okay. Leave no attention and inattention and the person and the duty and. The, all of these things. Yes, some, something is is present here. There yeah. is someone sort of beyond, beyond or behind or whatever it is present, is yeah. here and yeah. is relating uh, okay with you in a mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. And it can stay it, for a while. Does it make mistakes? Probably not. I will no. not say. Yeah, but you look a bit deeper. Take a little time and and see if you can answer not about it, but from mm. the core of it itself. I 
whatever is I, there is not this feeling of power, of centeredness that mm -hmm. can talk as this mm -hmm. self that you are requesting. There is, a, there is not this point of identity of... of, of okay, so that's... Okay, there's no point of identity, so we don't need one. A point, if not of identity, a point, a, a point, a point means uh, from which to speak. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I, I perceive uh, what, let us say, you are doing to, let us call this this one. I mean, you are in a sense surrounding it, or 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 asking, or whatever. But there is not a, st a stable. Uh, I, I call it point. Uh, okay. A, a place of a place of certainty, as yes. you ask. Uh, okay. Okay. So let's add certainty to the box we are throwing away. Hmm. 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 And positions, and points. Hmm. Put all this out. Something is still here, which is no less of what it is, without certainty and without fixed points and center. It is just what it is, isn't it? Yes, it yes. is. Yes, 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 yes. Because that one uh, doesn't have identity of it. Yes. It's just presence. Yes. This is yourself. Now, do I need to read any more of this? No, no, no. We were, let we, were communing, let mm. us say, for a few so-called seconds, yes? Mm. Then, somewhat, uh, this one became uh, more identified with the surroundings and with its uh, no character. some movement occur that stirred up the feeling of yes. being identified and that occur in the space of the same one which doesn't have a fixed shape mm. just in the space of that yes it arose but maybe out of habit or you know of uh, culture we say yes. Now I found that I am identifying again, and so on. But, but this voice now is not speaking truthfully, as that which we just discover. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. It was arguing for its own limitations. Yes. <coughs> yeah. And the same with any future movement that moves about in that intelligent space. But that itself is not altered, or is it, by the functioning of the mind and the body? It's not altered. And this is good. This is yourself. And as a basic point of uh, departure, I would say not to allow any of these words that we meant that we mentioned before any yeah. of these problems these issues all yeah. these things yeah. which are also movements which yes. are also yeah. uh, trying to invent things in yeah. a sense to yeah. confuse the issue and, yeah. Uh, yeah. and to paint a painting over what is already done in yeah. a sense well they can paint but you don't have to purchase this painting uh, they can paint yes. the things, the colors, the by yes. themselves. Yes, they yes, they yes. paint. Yes, yes, but without your customership, <laughs> yes, then it doesn't amount to a gallery. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's uh, yes, yes, that's interesting. <laughs> as uh, <laughs> now, as as uh, this one, as an artist, is interested in this. 
yeah. approach of not being the neither the customer nor the painter. Yes. Let the paints themselves they do the work <laughs> and the brushes do the things. <laughs> <laughs> but there isn't a sense that oh I've abandoned something. It, it's not in any of this. Pay attention only uh, to this. Look in the mirror only to to acknowledge this. You see, the acti the activities of life of the universe continue in their own way, but you are not uh, an investor to that extent. It happens anyway. Whether you feel you're moving the brush or not, does not affect this underlying uh, substratum. You can call. But then, because, but then, because apparently there are many people here, yes. and some people laugh, some people don't, and this one uh, also, I don't know whether one is creating a, another issue or problem, but this one is aware of other people, yeah. and wonders uh, from the very beginning are they really inside one's self, a part of one's uh, yes. uh, triggerings in the brain yep. and other yes. consciousness. In in that case, or 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 shall one uh, try and help the so-called external, or is this premature uh, talk? Or yeah, um, as you focus more only on being as you are, whatever position. Uh, is needed for any particular situation or circumstances, it will spontaneously come into play at that point freshly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The, uh, the question. The question that I put was not the real one. The question that I wanted to put was, in a sense, these outer noises. Yes. They seem to disturb. Uh, this inner presence or certainty yeah. because yes. th they appear to be outer in a sense. Yes, yes, yes. So this this they is have probably the, the main problem. More outer, they have the sense of more outer in reference to the identity which places you inside this body, which feels inner. Mm. You see? But as you relate more from the position of consciousness, which is without form, the outer and inner are not so significant. Mm. You see? And so is not you see, if you relate the body as you, then you feel like, well, there's a body and I am in the body. Mm. But as you become more aware of yourself as consciousness, you will still feel I am in the body, but also the body is in me also, mm. because you're not, you're not a body. Mm. So where would be the edge of consciousness, you see? So this is, this is a, a slowly emerging you know, recognition mm. that in a sense everything is in me. You see, but you don't have to try to, to to see everything in you, but it's emerging by itself as a felt truth. That but mm. everything is inside me as consciousness. When I perceive of or conceive of myself as a person, then I really am only occupying the dimensions of this body, and that's my range. But in terms of consciousness, it's a very different feeling. The body is there. The sense I is in the body also. But also, the body is inside the sense I also. Yes. 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 <coughs> and one can somewhat. I'm talking about. The, I'm talking about this side of the conversation. The words. Uh, one can somewhat perceive also this. That everything here is inside is yeah. inside something called yes. consciousness yes. or whatever, In including the sense of you, including the sense of yourself, certainly a, a, yeah. as a dynamic being, is also inside the consciousness, yes. and that total consciousness functioning is inside a greater awareness, which you will also acknowledge when the I itself, the I feeling itself becomes uh, seen as also phenomenal. The I, yes. 
this one has not experience of going the before I am. Yes. Has somewhat perceived the I am. Yes. Because that's really there. It's really the, the basic. Verse, yes, yes. But yes. the before I am and beyond. Yes. yes. I feel. If you don't give it to the mind, it's fine. Hmm. The very fact that you are aware you are, the where I am, the very fact that you are aware of this, it itself uh, states that something observes even I am. But the I am is also observed. The sense of presence is known, is also perceived and felt. And the identity of even the I am is itself uh, felt. Hmm. No hurry. Mm. Thank you for saying no hurry, because yeah. it's one of the pressures, so-called problems. Yes, yes, yes. it's very the, good. A certain impatience or a certain <coughs> toughness with this. Yeah, speaking oh. time. yeah, the, yeah. Uh, there is somewhat this problem of this impatience or a certain toughness with uh. the uh, with the one who is not doing enough. Let us say so. So you have to do a little bit more work on that. Not much. Don't go too deeply into it. But if if it is a recurring theme. Or the feeling that you know the one who is uh, uh, this kind of psychological identity, the one who is feeling I never quite do enough, or I miss my chance, and so on, and and something is really supporting that image, that self-image. You see, so. if there's a tendency to feel, yes, you know, when people laugh at me, that kind of feel, you know, maybe uh, I feel that, or, that was not a problem, though. Okay, I? but say for instance. The feeling of you know maybe I've not done enough. I should yeah. give more attention, and I keep pulling you back to who is the I who, who is who is the subject here, who is the high? What does it look like? What is its shape? What is its design? And so on. You can look, and then from the position of consciousness, look, it will be very different. First, it will be it will have more gravity, more pull, more stickiness, but from the place of the unassociated consciousness. Then maybe the the impetus or the urge to look will just soften, and it will not mm. be significant enough to compel your attention to mm. to to look more deeply into that. No? Mm. Then perhaps if then perhaps if I am allowed the last question, <laughs> okay, <laughs> because it goes with the last sentence. The last sentence is, I feel everybody do their best. The will they exert is the will they have. Would you say this is a lazy attitude? I would say not. What I would say is that everything is perfect. Yes. Do, do you share that, that everything is perfect? Yes. Yes. Everything is as it is. It is you who must have perfect eyes to see it perfectly. You may say everything is as it is. To say it is perfect um, is to crystallize it, to say that it is something. But the life is more like a kind of a noun, more than a. V it's more like a verb than a noun, actually, yes, yes, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Because. If you say it is this, then you fix it, but it is a fluid uh, I don't stream. see it as stationary, as static. Uh, what I would say is that God is everything, yes. and God is perfect. Yes. Perfect in the sense that everything has a meaning, everything yes. has a purpose. Yes. That is perfect for me, even yes. suffering yes. is part of the, perfect, the perfection. This is a very wholesome view. Yes, because then everything is perfect. And, yes. and then, then it's very, in a sense, relaxing. Yes. If everything is perfect, then yes. one can relax. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Very, very well. good. Very good. Another way into this understanding is when one becomes empty, 
then somehow there is a perfection in this also. Uh, because if everything you say is perfect, but there will be moments when you'll feel everything is not perfect. But then something may say, but even when it's not perfect, it's perfect. And if that is felt, then it's fine. Perfectly, you know. But in the state of pure emptiness, which is not a stagnation, it's an aliveness, in that emptiness, there's no need to measure to say things are perfect or not perfect. There is just a self, you see, which is perfect. You see? It's not a summarization about what the self perceives, but that the self is. And the totality of all things, you may say, still are embraced within the scope of the self. So somehow in the self, we do not even care to mention things. It's just mm. you're that. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs>